All right, so now let's start setting these parameters. So the first parameter we're gonna set is the title, and we're going to call this cat versus dog. Now the next parameter will be home, and this is going to be set to my splash, and this is going to be our splash screen. Next, we're going to set the debug banner set to false. And now um, we're going to create this splash screen class. So in order to do that, we'll create a new file and we're going to call this one splash screen dot dart. Okay. Now in this file, we are going to create a new class and this class is going to be of type stateful widget. So I have a, a very useful plugin where I just have to write STF and it's going to automatically um, create the stateful class for me and it's going to set everything that I need or require for a stateful class. So I'm going to call this one my splash. Now I'm getting a couple errors and the reason for that is because I need to import the required dependencies. And after I import the material.dart dependency, I'm also going to import um, my dependency for the splash screen. And this one's going to be a package splash screen slash splash screen dot dart. Okay. So now that we have this splash screen package, we can start playing around with the widget. So instead of returning this container, I'm going to return a splash screen. Now, as you can see, this splash screen takes several parameters. It takes different parameters, including a loader color, a photo size, the amount of seconds it's there, title, background color, just a bunch of cool stuff. And yeah, so let's start playing with it. So the first one is the seconds. And I normally set this to two seconds. Um, the rule of thumb is around two to three seconds. Um, you want the user to feel like the app is very fast, and this is how you would do this. Um, unless you had to initialize some things when the, uh, the app first boots up, then it may take longer, but for this case, we're just gonna set it to two, just so there's a splash screen and it makes the app look cleaner. So the next parameter we're going to set is the navigate after seconds. And what this allows us to do is it just, it goes to the new class after the amount of seconds very i'm sure you guys can intuitively understand what that is next is the title parameter and this is going to be of type text widget and we're going to call this dog and cat and we're going to set a style for this title and it's going to be a text style and we'll set the font weight parameter equal to font weight dot bold and the next one will be font size and we'll set this one to 30 and finally we'll set the color equal to color 0 x f f e 99600 so now that we've finished styling this text we um i'm just going to put the uh, commas there just because to keep the code clean but once we do that we can add our image and for image we'll do image dot asset and since we don't have an assets folder we will create one and we'll call it assets and we'll we'll have to make sure we go to our pubspec.yaml file and add our assets folder that way we can use it in a, inside our project so i'm going to do assets just like this and it's going to get all the images inside of our assets so now you're going to want to drag and drop the image i've included in this lecture and i have it right here so i'm just going to drag it into this and this is what the image looks like so now that i have this image i can go into here and i can access this directory location so i'm going to do assets cat.png and that should be good to get the image. All right. Um, we still have two areas here, but we will finish fix it. I'll just fix this one quickly by including our splash screen dart file. So now we can set the background color for this splash screen. And for now, I'm going to set it to black. And 
I'm going to set the photo size equal to 50. Now the last parameter we're going to set is the loader color. And for this, I want the color to be a hex number of 0x f f e e d a 2 a okay so once i have that um we should be ready to go for our splash screen dot dart file and to fix this error let's just create a new file and we'll call this one home dot dart okay and in here i'm just going to create a new stateful widget and i'm going to call this one home and i'm just going to import material dot dart and let's just make sure we there you go all right awesome so let's run this project and i'll let this run up and i'll see you guys once it's done loading all right so um we're getting this error and the error is because our min sdk version is 16 and in order to fix that we're going to have to go to our android folder inside of our project and then go into app and then build.gradle and from here you want to scroll down and then go to the default config and we'll set the min sdk version to 19. now because we're using tf light we're going to want to go into pub.dev and check the installation process and as you can see there is an installation instruction so what we have to do is we have to add tf light to our dependency next we have to go to our Android app build.gradle file and add this to the Android block. So we'll just copy and paste this and we're going to go to Android app build.gradle and inside of our Android block. So here we can add this option. Okay. And this is going to configure TF light inside of our project. And if you're on iOS, if you're using a Mac and you're getting any errors similar to these, then you're going to want to follow these instructions in order to fix those, okay? Now, now that our splash screen and all the configuration is done, we can start the home.dart file. And that's what we're going to do in the next video. So I'll see you guys there. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to help you.